Hey everyone, this is Seven Fingers. Uh, today I'm going to do a zombie match by myself to show you how to survive the zombies. I'm not really worried about the other players in this video, but uh, I've played a lot with other people and I've seen a lot of mistakes that they make on the zombies themselves, how to survive the nights. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Or I'm going to try to anyway. Watch me die right away. <laughs> so how's everybody doing? Okay. Hey, Dixie. Dixie's my dog, by the way. Okay. Now, I usually go to the water town because it's pretty good for the first night. But since there's other teams and I'm by myself, I'm going to try going there. A little out of the way. Okay, one thing about this mode is when you pick up a weapon, pick up all the ammo. Doesn't matter if you're going to need it or not at the time because you will probably end up switching weapons at least two times. So, for instance, if you get an M16... And you uh, end up dropping it, keep the ammo. Or if you get an M16 and an AK-47, or AWM in this case, and you have an M16 along with it, and you end up picking a... Uh, VSS up. Use 9mm. Keep the ammo from the other gun that you dropped. Just in case. So. I usually keep 556, 762, and 9mm because you just never know what the occasion is going to be. We'll start here. This isn't the ideal spot, but it'll be good enough to show you what I mean. Okay, I'm going to pick up that 7.62. I'm going to keep that shotgun for right now. Okay, and since I found more ammo for the I hate halos. Since I found more ammo for the M16 than I did for my ump, I'm going to go down and switch out my ump. For the M16. Pick that up. Because remember in this mode you... You get... A lot more ammo. Or a lot more space. In your bag than you do in the other... So, you can carry almost, I think it's like twice as much or three times as much per bag in this mode than you can in the other modes. Uh, 
So right now it's just all about picking up as much as you can. Pick that up because I'm going to probably need it later. Combat knife is definitely a good thing. Bandages are a great thing because uh, okay. And since I have an AKM, I'm gonna pick that up. These are the only things I drop: shotgun shells. I'll keep the nine millimeter just in case. I saw, yep, stock for the M16. The reason bandages are so big on here is because a lot of times you don't have time to heal. Bandages are quick. So I'm picking up all the bandages. Put my gun away so I can run. Okay, now as you can see, I'm out in the open, which isn't where I really want to be facing zombies. But there's a technique you can use even when out in the open. My main thing right now is getting back in the zone. You can kill zombies, you can kill other players, but you can't kill that zone. Okay. Whatever cover you use is fine. So I just pick a place the first night. Pistol suppressor. Pick that up. Ooh, mini 14. Watch your ammo. Try for headshots when possible. AR suppressor, nice. Better aiming. Okay, move. Always get that guy first. Okay, now. Since I'm getting overran, run, get reset. OK, 
Okay, now I have a few seconds. There. Keep moving. Keep moving to new spots. Okay. Him by himself. Take a second. Okay. I Got that. Okay, big ugly will hurt you. So Don't let him spit on you. Keep moving. Don't let yourself get surrounded. Okay, first night is done. Now check your stuff. Oh shoot. Okay, since this guy spits. And he's not incredibly hard to kill. Okay, now check your stuff. Ammo. Now I'm not going to pick up a sniper rifle yet. I'm going to pick up that, that. Quick draw mag, drop that. Put that on there. Okay, now, heal up, Okay, now see if I missed anything. Yep, see I missed the 7.62 and I missed the 9mm. Okay, now head into the circle again. Okay, now... This is the one you don't want to be caught outside if you can help it. I got full health. I've got a suppressor on both my weapons. OK. 
Okay. Since I don't know if anybody was there this last round. I'm going to have to be careful with other players this time. Because I'm coming up on a new area. Now this is the perfect spot to spend the second night if you can. Okay, now, this is the water town. And contrary to what people think, these things can walk on water. Remember those spitters, that's the ones you want to kill first. So if you can find them, kill them. Run. Don't be afraid to run. Running in this mode is very necessary. Okay, now... If you're in a building, he can't spit at you as easily. Okay, now. Go down. Get up here. Heal. The knife kills that thing the fastest. Remember, this is about surviving the zombies, not about killing them as much as it is surviving.
You can outrun them. You can outthink them. And if you get stuck, you're screwed. Just like I did. Close that so that they can't spit on me. Okay, now... It's daytime. You're much safer in the daytime. M24. Dude keeps on spitting, so I'm gonna go kill him. Alright, and you've survived another night. Put that on there. Drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Okay. Very good. Now. That ends that night. Oh shoot, I need five five six. I dropped the wrong gun, but that's all right. Hopefully, I won't need that much of it. Heal up and run. So that's how you survive the night. I'm not going to finish this because the rest of it doesn't matter. It just makes it longer. That's how you survive by yourself. Uh, I hope you learned some things. So this is Seven Fingers. Thank you for watching. Dixie thanks you as well. Peace, people. Peace.